Hey, what's up, guys? I'm here with another video, and I am reacting to man follows a black woman in the store then attempts to get in her car. Be careful, black women. So, basically, this woman shows how to handle a creepy stalker. Let's get into it. Hold on. Hold on, I'm about to record you because if something happens to me, they gonna have you on camera. Somebody come get their family member. Follow me. That's right. Yes, bye. Uh uh, you're not getting in my car. You tripping, you tripping. Don't, no, don't, no, you're not getting in my car. I unlocked my door, but you rushed to my passenger, you're not getting in my car. Sorry. Yes, you are on camera. She can't trust them on no. the Facebook. Nigga, I already you know told you, I'm not single. So I don't know why you follow with me. I'm, I'm on, look, I even help her get that drunk. I don't even rob drunk bitches. I'm too. I even help bitches that's drunk. I don't even rob drunk bitches. I'm too. Wait, what did you say? Bitches that's drunk. I don't even rob drunk bitches. I'm too. <laughs> See, you follow me around my car. I'm trying to get in. You ran straight to the passenger side. Can you get away from my door so I can get in my car? I don't even know you. Hey, delete that camera off. Grab that phone from the break. And then, you know what? All these witnesses out here. Look. Well, can you get away from my car? I'll delete it as soon as I see you start walking that way. Because for my safety, you just followed me around the store. And then you followed me to my car. So actually, I'm going to go back to the store. Oh, that's scary. Because you're like out of line happens. right now. Stuff like that happens. That's why I don't like going to downtown by myself all the time. Yeah. Well, like, let's keep whenever it. I yeah. just, I don't like being, I don't like walking around in downtown. Yeah. When it's busy and stuff like that. That stuff happens. Yeah, that's That stuff, like, I remember this, this, this man that always sit, like, on the side or whatever, selling newspaper. I remember it happened, like, when I very first moved to Nashville. He was following me. It was the craziest shit ever. Like, he was following me. And then I was walking home with a friend. Did you gonna tell the whole story? Yeah. Well, I mean, there's another one. I was walking home with a friend, <laughs> and a truck was following us. A truck was, like, the dude was trying to get us to, like, which was trying to give us a ride. It oh, took us it took us forever to get that dude away. <laughs> Dang. And you're not gonna... You're gonna delete the camera. First of all... Delete that shit. You're gonna get away from me. Yeah. Get away from me. I'm waiting for you to delete that shit. You're not about to make no money off of me, cuz. Nigga, yeah. ain't nobody making no money. First of all, do it look like I need to make some money off of you? Yes. No, no, I don't. Look like you need to make some money off of me. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> oh, I love her. That's why you. Can y'all call 911? Can y'all call 911? This guy just followed me around the store and he just. Mm -mm, and he tried to follow me to my car and get in my car. So I want to talk about a video that really disturbed me. And shout out to my subscriber Ashley for sending me this. So, so how do you find the original? I've been trying to find the original video. I have no clue, but let's watch this one because it does kind of look like it is staged a little bit. Yeah, no, I, I doubt it's staged. I there was a video that went viral of a black woman who lives in Phoenix, Arizona. She's being followed by a man in a store she was in, and he tried to hit on her, and she said, basically, you know, she was not single, she wasn't interested, trying to get him to go away, and he wouldn't take no for an answer. And after she left the store, he followed her outside and then tried to get in her car. And for those of you who are wondering, the woman did say that she was safe. She reported to everybody on Facebook and said that she was safe and sound. And she said that he left her alone after she went back in the store and made a scene. And I don't know if you guys noticed this, but he said something about how he didn't rob drunk women and he doesn't even rob drunk women. What in the world did that mean? Was 
What? Yeah, what does yeah, that mean? Yeah. That means he That's robs no, women. Like, that what? means he just robs regular women. What the f- <laughs> that yeah, like a low key admission, admission to what he does like what do you mean you don't rob drunk bitches that is just so weird then he said fuck black people so I'm assuming he has some pinned up resentment for black people or black women and maybe he's looking for a random black woman to take it out on and then they were in broad daylight this was in the morning there were people around for real it was in the morning and people were around but you know what they say, some people just don't care about life, and they don't have to care about life. No, there was a girl that got kidnapped. Uh, and this fool did not care. He was just going to do what he wanted to do. That's Ooh. scary. And I'm, this woman is smart, and I want... Why do you keep doing that? Because it, no, the, the, the new update for YouTube, every time you click play right here, it pops open for some I'm reason. Right there. I applaud her. She was quick on her feet. She was smart to pull out the phone and start recording. And then she voiced her suspicions. Like, she told him, she was like, hey, if something happens to me, you know, I'm going to record because I don't feel safe. And if something happens to me, it'll be recorded. And that is something that they teach you in self-defense. If somebody is threatening you, they teach you to say it. Like, you have to say it out loud so, you know, other people around you can hear it if other people are around. And I'm so happy she did that because... Like, calling the police nowadays really doesn't scare people. They might try to just snatch the phone out of your hand or knock it out of your hand. It seems like recording people makes people a little bit more afraid, you know, because they don't know if you're going live. It's like recording is immediate. There's not a lot of time to react because if you remember when that white man and that black woman got into it not too long ago over that parking spot or whatever they were getting into it about, um, that's what he did. She pulled out her phone to call the police and he slapped the phone out of her hand. Then he stomped on it. So, you know, I just think it's a little bit more intimidating for people to pull out your phone and start recording. And as I was researching this, come to find out, this man has done this to other black women as well. There was a woman on Facebook who wrote and said that he followed her too. So that means that this man is out there somewhere in Phoenix, Arizona, on the loose, being a predator to other black women, which is why... I'm sorry, but, dude, they need to shoot him. <laughs> I decided to do this video to make women in that area aware, and women in surrounding areas as well, and just to also encourage black women to always keep your guard up in general, because it's just been crazy out here. It seems like it's getting crazier. <laughs> We're seeing black women being attacked left and right. Every other week is something new. So, you know, if you're in this area, beware of this man if you see him. And you guys know I have talked about black women. You're on my channel now, so more awareness, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Men and self-defense on my channel several times, and also on Divine Dark Skin Magazine. But I have to reiterate it again in this video, ladies. It is a must to learn self-defense because even if you're not single and you may live in a nice neighborhood or whatever, never have your guard down. You know, you're not always gonna have your man around you for protection. A crazy could walk in anywhere in any neighborhood at any time. You just never know what can happen. So just always be prepared. You really gotta keep a Glock on you. <laughs> What? You gotta keep you a Glock. You gotta keep you a Glock. You I used to have like, pepper spray. Bow, bow, bow. I used to have pepper spray one time. Mm. Oh my god! Mm, but yeah. I when I I remember the first day I bought my pepper spray. I went to go to the bus station in downtown. This kid actually grabbed me by my arm, and this dude was like, the his friend. Look, look. Yeah, the friend was like, "Yo, you got a pepper spray right there." The fact that they are talking about protect. This is the problem with America, bro. Because in other countries, like, it's not as bad, right? But crime is rampant in America for a reason. People are crazy in America for a reason. Yeah. The it's drugs, so the money, the alcohol. It's so bad, right? I'm not the, saying those the things. The sex idols. I'm not saying yeah. it's not. I'm not saying it's just here in America, but it's more prevalent here. It's mm -hmm. more, like, even school shootings. Like, America really is a dog-eat-dog -dog country, like. It is the brim of true capitalism. Like, 
Families don't even help each other really anymore. Yeah, everyone's individual. Like in other countries, their cultures are more about family, and whoever's outside your family could be a threat. Here, your family is a threat. You are literally sanctioned off. And that is so scary when you think about it. Because people say, oh, you got to be out here on your own or whatever. When you really think about it, in other cultures, they do not have their family completely on their own. That is not a thing. That does not happen. But in America, they have facilitated this behavior of being by yourself and doing everything by yourself. And if you got some shit going on, tough luck. That is very dangerous and scary, and that is the world we unfortunately live in now. It's scary, bro. Like, the, like she probably couldn't call somebody. That's probably why she decided to record. That The first thing she couldn't do is call the police. The police aren't in the area she was in, probably. Yeah, and it takes some. It takes a. It takes a, a like a, a couple of minutes for the police to get to you, and who knows what can happen in that couple of minutes. Yeah, it, it's like as soon as they, as soon as they realize you call the police, you're dead. Yeah, in other country, Facts. in the other countries, like they do have police patrolling in most of the area, so it's very hard for you to get away with something or at least do anything, because it's almost in uh. A, there's almost always a first responder in your area. <laughs> it's just so sad, bro. Like, people want to say the United States is the best country, but no, this country really is shitty and unsafe. And yeah, you got a whole military that can beat the rest of the world, maybe, but you can't even protect your own citizens or create a safe environment. A lot of things you guys do down to the medicines the practices you guys do with police brutality. You make this place really feel like an unsafe land. Like, if I walk out that door, I could get my head blown off just because someone wanted my car. It, this is really, this is what we live, this is the reality of this country. This, you know, I'm not saying every place is good, but I'm also saying that for something that was to pride itself as, pride itself as a great country, makes you question their values. What do you mean it's a great country? There's certain people that didn't even have rights a hundred years ago. You know what I'm saying? Fifty years ago. And then you still have this cesspool of shit going on. Bro, they have people going in schools shooting down bodies of people who had kids. Families that had these kids because they want to start a family. Oh, stop. This country is fucked up, bro. This country is not it. It's not it. And hate is still prevalent, but hate is not like it used to be, where it would just be a specific group. Everybody getting killed now. They just going in with guns and bop, 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 knocking you off. For something like that, um, you know. What? I was going to say, like, people just have too much hate, too much resentment. There's. Like, we, like, they're killing each other over something. Too much of, jealousy, killing yeah, each other. Yeah, they're killing each other over materialistic things. Idolizing, like, some, like, fa- like fantasies, like, whatever type of life they're trying to, like, reach for. Like, but, like, they're, they're trying to, okay, like, well, well, they're trying to reach for a life, but do you gotta kill people and steal yeah, and rob to get that, there? That's how they think. You gotta kill and rob to get there? That's crazy, man. That's all I think. Sometimes you're gonna have to go to places alone, like this woman was, and you need to know how to protect herself. What if this dude would have ran up on her and snatched her phone and destroyed her phone? It could have gone left really, really quick. She would have needed more than her phone. So, like I have said in other videos, get a concealed carry permit and learn how to use your firearm. I'm going to keep saying this over and over and over again because I know how anti-gun a lot of black women are. But as you guys know, or you should know, I am pro Second Amendment. And I can't stress this enough, but you need to know the gun laws in your state. You need to know how to use a firearm. You need to blast these fucks. It's like crazy because you got to be out here blasting. Oh, by the way, I, I do want to take one of those classes. I do want to take those classes where I can get a concealed license. Where I can get a license so I can carry a gun. 
Yeah, me too, because I had a pistol illegally, which, you know, I probably shouldn't admit that on camera, but what the fuck ever, you gotta protect yourself. These people aren't crazy. I mean, as uh, long as you had it in your house, it's fine. Yeah, that's it. I as long as it's, it's in your house, in yeah. your apartment, in your place, on your property, it's right, fine. Right, like, I've never but carried it But if you're it carrying on. it around in public, that's different. All right, because, like, people are crazy, bro, like, bro. Like, I'm just gonna be honest. I'm gonna try to come up on me, man. I'm gonna blast them. I'm, you know, I'm skinny. They might overpower me. I'm, I'm picking up that glug. <laughs> I'm gonna turn their ass to dust. Yeah. Bro, but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, man. If anything, be safe out there, man. It is getting insane, bro. <laughs> bro, I ain't seen, bro, I ain't had too many friends die, bro. Be safe, all right? Yeah. Make sure you subscribe. And peace.